I just got some very exciting mail. I know what it is. And I'm super excited. Ah! <laughs> I was one of the lucky few that saw it on the app and was able to get Figment. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe I got him. Oh my goodness. This is one where I think he's staying in the box. Just like that. Because it's too perfect. So I'm leaving work and the local high school band practices near us. And I was hoping to be able to catch some of their audio. But they're on break. Next time. I came home and I've got two exciting packages sitting here. Uh, one from Carmen and Brian from Peas and Carrots and one from Kyle from the Cheap Seats. So uh, let's open these up and see what's inside. I mean, I know it's Epcot stuff, but. Kyle and Mary's package first. And they got me one of the I Was There Epcot pins, which is awesome. Look at that, so cool. And they also sent me one of the maps and one of the pins, I didn't even know that. So thank you guys, you guys are the best. This is the box, the package from Brian and Carmen and they got a map and a button for me as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are amazing. It's the magic band. Oh my goodness, I love the box so much. Oh my goodness. All right, now I have to open it. Man, oh man, I love it. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is never getting worn. I'll tell you that right now. That is just going in the collection in my office. Never getting worn because it's just too beautiful. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. So I tweeted about this on the day of the event. Obviously very sad not to be there. Then when the weekend actually rolled around, both Carmen and Brian and Kyle and Mary reached out to me and asked me if they could help get me something <laughs> that was there only available during this event, or so we thought at least. And so Carmen actually sent Brian running all the way back to the gift store in order to get the magic band for me. So thank you, Brian. A little finger waggle just for you. <laughs> I think I owe you finger waggles for life now, but Brian ran across the park to get the magic band for me. So super grateful. I did not know they were sending me the map and the button, so that's awesome as well. And then Kyle and Mary asked me if there was anything, limited items that I really wanted. They got me the I Was There pin, which is also amazing. I didn't think I had any chance of getting that one. So super amazing that they offered to get it for me. And again, both of these were just out of the kindness of their hearts. I have wonderful friends that I made off YouTube that I am super grateful for. And to not get to be there, but have people just think about me and know how much I love Epcot and then send me these little care packages. It just <sighs> brightened my day then and just made this day even wonderful. So it's been a great week full of Epcot love. I'm gonna go send them messages to let them know I got the packages and to thank them again. But if you somehow have not seen uh, Adventures of Peas and Carrots or View from the Cheap Seats, I will link both of them down below and put cards for them up here so you should go check out their channels. These boys are special. For more and watching these crazies. Foster's enjoying the tug of war. The award of tugs. Colby, stop being lazy. You need to work off some of that energy. <sighs> there you go. That's more like it. So I am home. I got my Zumba clothes on. I'm planning to go to Zumba tonight because I finally feel like I can breathe without coughing. Zumba, Zumba, Zumba night. And like I said, you can tell it's almost the time change because look how dark it is when I'm heading to Zumba. It is almost, it is almost time for the time change. I am home from Zumba. Yo, you can see the creepy eyes in the window behind me. Ooh. Oh, he's got his chew. Mike is playing a video game, chatting with one of his friends. Hence the urgent sounding voice in the background. Thank you for not destroying anything in our house so far today. I appreciate you not eating a sofa or a dog bed and just eating your chew toy like you're supposed to. I appreciate that. You are a crazy boy. Crazy boy, yes? 
crazy boy Colby. I came in here to shower because I'm back from Zumba and Foster basically made a beeline for the bedroom door and went straight in the crate. So that's how he's feeling about life right now. Okay, the band is practicing this time. Band. Memories, memories, memories. Good timing on that one. They just finished the song. <laughs> I missed that. Marching band was by far the most fun thing about being in high school. It was by far the thing about high school that I remember the most. All my friends were in band. Like I just had so many awesome friendships through that. So many great experiences. I learned so much. Um, I don't know if I've talked, I'm sure I have. I've been vlogging for like six years now. I'm sure I've mentioned this at some point in the past, but I started off as a clarinet player and then learned bass clarinet uh, in middle school. And for some reason they let me march with a bass clarinet my freshman year. And then I realized that that was terrible and I started learning trumpet. So I marched with trumpet my sophomore, junior, senior years. And I uh, became a section leader my sophomore year which was also funny because they made me like, I think I was like a low brass section leader. Or was I a clarinet section leader? I don't remember. It didn't make any sense. I know that much. Like he wanted to make me a section leader, but I fit nowhere because I was a clarinet player who became a trumpet player and I definitely wasn't trumpet section leader. He tried, he tried to give me a position. So I was a section leader even though I had no section. And then I became junior drum major my junior year and drum major my senior year. So I was the head band nerd. I just got to the grocery store, but I wanted to finish that thought. So I didn't like to go for things if I had to compete with my friends for them. So I was the editor of the newspaper my senior year as well, but that was all merit-based. My teacher for that class basically asked me to be the editor. And I was also the, or one of the captains for Winter Guard, my sophomore, junior, years and the senior year I tried to quit and they <laughs> they dragged me back in basically as a soloist. So my sophomore junior years I was a captain of Winter Guard and that you had to audition for but that was different because I felt like I knew that I was worthy of that because I was one of the only ones on the team that had dance training. So I knew that I offered something that not everyone could do and I wasn't the best at flag, I wasn't the best at rifle, but I was the best at dance out of the group. So I knew that I had some talents in that area that I could offer and I knew I was really good at musicality and performing and all of that stuff. So that wasn't out of my comfort zone, but for band <laughs> to be drum major, I had to compete against some of my best friends. My first couple years, I definitely did not think I was going to go for it. I pretty much told people like, mm, I don't think that's for me. And then by the time I got to time to audition the end of my sophomore year, I think part of it was my band director, like he was very supportive of me. And he had a lot to do with me learning trumpet and was always very supportive and we had a really good friendship. So I felt comfortable going for something that was out of my comfort zone because I felt supported. For some reason, I just felt a drive to go for it and I went for it and I got it. I absolutely loved being drum major. I absolutely loved being in band. My By far my favorite thing that I did in high school and there's a little piece of me that regrets not doing marching band in college because every time I hear those marching bands, I just think back to that time in my life and I absolutely loved it. And the leadership skills and a lot of the lessons that I learned as drum major, I still use today in how I deal with people when I'm in a leadership position. So, taught me a lot. So now I'm gonna go get my groceries and uh, head home. Tony and Lindsay, are you jealous right now? Look at all the Halo Top. <laughs> These are all the new flavors. Well, I don't know if they're all the new flavors, but I got all the new flavors that my Kroger had. So we got mochi green tea, pancakes and waffles, candy bar, chocolate covered banana, and then the rainbow swirl. There's all the different halo tops. I'm just going to sample each one and see how they are. Let's find out. Okay, so we tried all of them, and for me, the two winners, the clear winners, were the chocolate covered banana and 
the candy bar. The candy bar one is right up there with the peanut butter for me of the original flavors. Where the candy bar and peanut butter, I'll probably buy every single time I want to buy Halo Top. Those two were awesome. The waffles and pancake one is fun as a novelty, as Mike said, but I would get tired of the syrup flavor real fast. And uh, green tea was a little weird, and the rainbow is just a little too like fake sweet to me. But chocolate covered banana and the candy bar were. Okay, guys, I am home from work a little early. I'm still working from home because our internet went out at work and sat around waiting for about two hours for the internet to come back and it didn't. So I came home, I've got work to do, but I just noticed that Foster and Ash were inside and I didn't know where Colby was and I just looked outside and it turns out that Colby is another Heidi and he is running around the pool watching the, uh, the pool cleaner and just kind of chasing it running around i'm gonna let him do it because he's tiring himself out just running around the pool following it but he's cute but he is not the brightest of pups earlier i had the squeaky toy ball in my hand and i put it behind my back and showed him the one hand and then i switched hands and showed him the other one and he went around my back to see if it was there and I just moved it to my side and he got completely convinced that I didn't have it anymore and was like searching the whole house for it. Ash looks at me and I can see Ash and he is like, it's behind your back. Like, I know it's behind your back. And he comes running for me and just immediately goes to look behind my back. And Colby's still just looking at me like, it's magic, it's gone. She just made my ball disappear. I don't know what happened to it. This one's got quite the noggin, don't you? You're smart, you're a smart popper. You have to deal with these idiots. Hmm? All right, back to work. I just had to share that with you guys because it's just it's just silliness. And Mike's not here. Mike had to go run an errand with Jeff. So it's just me and the pups. And back to work. To my up, 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 up. Foster's just having a nap. Colby, goodness gracious! Literally, he spent an hour running around the pool, and this is uh. That's where he's at now. Nobody wants to play with him. Oh, so now he's just gonna squeak and annoy the crap out of all of us. Don't want to play with me? Oh, I know, Foster. I know, bud. I know. You don't want to play with me? Fine. I will squeak this. I will squeak this and annoy all of you. Foster's like, save me, mom. He stomped on my head. Well, you dropped your toy. Colby, don't be... Colby! Hey! Don't be rude. He's clearly just having a nap. <coughs> Colby! No! So, this just happened. Colby is squeaking away and Foster just literally shoved himself on top of my lap. <laughs> He's trying to bury his head behind me like, Mom, please. I know, Bean. I feel, I feel you, Bean. I do. One. Two. Three. Four. No one can ever hang with Mom. So, hey guys, it is Saturday. It is a new week of vlogs. I am actually out running errands. I don't know if you can see behind me. Maybe. Can't tell because the screen is so damaged at this point I can't see what's happening. I'm on my Sony right now. Uh, my bridesmaid dress, well my maid of honor dress is back there. Uh, went to the tailor to ask about getting it hemmed uh, and they said it was only going to take a couple days which is awesome. Uh, so I still have it with me because I need to go buy the shoes first obviously. I, I knew I was going to need to do that but I just wanted to make sure that they could do it at this tailor because I've never used them before and see what their deal was. But now I'm going into Hobby Lobby. This has been closed for a while because it flooded, but it reopened just in time for Halloween and also I need to get some stuff for work in here. So we're gonna go in Hobby Lobby and see what it's like now that they've fixed it up post uh, Harvey flooding. So yay, and then shoe shopping. And then probably gonna go by Michael's and finally look at Halloween stuff. And it's just gonna be Halloween shopping fun. We're working in here. Bye. Look at all that Christmas stuff. All that Christmas stuff trying to encroach on my Halloween. 
Who soon? Hey, boys. All of the Halloween goodies. That's cute. Super quick trip to Hobby Lobby. They didn't have anything I was looking for. So now I'm at DSW slash Michael's area and we're gonna shoe shop and Halloween shop. So Michael's was a bust. Everything was 50% off. However, they literally had one Halloween building left for the Halloween village, which was the only thing I really was interested in to see if they had the Lee Max stuff on sale. So no Lee Max village edition this year, but I kind of already knew that. Uh, while I was gone, our Love With Food box arrived, which I don't think I filmed this last month, but Love With Food, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I used to do unboxing videos from time to time, and Love With Food was one of the ones I used to unbox. And we started doing grays for a little while, and then I started getting disappointed because we kept getting repeats. So Love With Food was doing a thing where it was like $30 for three months, so I went ahead and did that. So this is our second month. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Halloween themed. Don't look back. Half pops. Oh, I do like the half pops. I don't have this particular brand, but oh yes, yes. This is actually Love of Food is how I figured out that brownie brittle was a thing, and I'm obsessed ever since. And I have not had dark chocolate sea salt, so that sounds awesome. A smash. This feels a little melty, like it got a little warm, but a smash mallow. Cinnamon churro, wow, that sounds amazing. Skinny dipped almonds, sounds good. We love jerky around here, so that'll be good. Apparently it's available at Starbucks. Hickory smoke, that looks, oh man, this is a really good box for us. Nature's Bandits, <laughs> Colby's little baby bark. Those look good. Jalapeno potato chips. Kashi. Chocolate almond sea salt. These also sound awesome. Protein delights. It's gluten free. Interesting. This is also feels very warm. So that one definitely needs to sit a while before you try to eat it. It's dark chocolate and sea salt again. Um, some Australian licorice. Ooh, and almond butter. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Way more than last month's. Kettle chips. Another Australian thing. And then we got, plus we got two things of oatmeal. We got <clears throat> Madagascar vanilla with almonds and pecans. And honey peanut butter. That's awesome. And this is pretty much all wins. Like, I'm excited to try all of this stuff, so. He got his chew. Wow, Colby. What? Wow. Well, I was just like, nope, it's mine now. Wow. Really, boys? Tug of war over an Isla Bone. You guys are special. There. Finally got Colby's bark for you guys. That is his bark. Can you believe that? Can you believe that that's that dog's voice? That is his bark. All right, now I'm gonna go yell at him, but I just had to get that on film for you guys so you could hear how high pitched his bark is. It's ridiculous. All right, so we're getting ready to go get some dinner with Mike's parents and Jeff. I'm no longer in quarantine, so I'm allowed to see the rest of the family now since my cold is finally pretty much gone. So excited to go get dinner with everybody and I think Jeff's gonna come over and we're gonna play some games and stuff tonight, so. I'm excited. So we've been diffusing bombs with Jeff, and now it's time for Loco Dojo. Get that form right, babe. Hard to do with the knee. Can you even play this game well with your knee? Not really. I was gonna say, this might be a bad idea. We might need to play cards instead. I'm going to try out this game, Legend of the Hidden Temple. Let's so see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Did you make it all the way or are you? No. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Full on Dawson Berry cry like <laughs> Any oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He did it. He did it. Alright. Do it, Jeff. Do it so we can quit. Yes. <laughs> Done! <laughs> I'm just, I will accept third place. <laughs> oh, goodness. Set. Go. Oh, Mike's already got it once. Really? Round two of drinking games, go. Ah, too much oh, pressure. Mike got it once. 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 Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, Mike wins. <laughs> Mike wins. Shut your face. <laughs> You're from that range. <laughs> Just like I have to do it. Yay! Okay, you did it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Violent. Okay, here, we, here we go. Here goes nothing. With the dogs in the background. Okay. Oh, oh, he hesitated. <laughs> No! What the heck? Oh, that's right. It was right in the corner, right? Yeah. It was right like okay. Yeah. You gotta slap the cards! Oh, the cards themselves? Yeah. Oh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> having a full-on puppy freak out right now. <laughs> Ash is like, enough! Wow. That was special. Wow. Mike just left to take Jeff home to the parents' house. And I stayed here because these two have been wrestling and I wanted to make sure I was here to referee. And uh, Colby's having like a 11 p.m. puppy fit. So I'm here just refereeing. Foster's doing a pretty good job of uh, telling him the business, but uh, I stayed here. Uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple board game. Did not realize you need four to twelve players to play that game, but we made do with three, and it was fun. I think it would be a lot of fun with a group. It was a little less when we had to makeshift it, but an interesting concept, and I love, love, love that TV show. That was one of my favorite TV shows as a preteen, so I like the fact that we got to somewhat play it, at least have some nostalgia. So these two are going to keep doing their thing. And being really derpy. And uh, we'll see when Mike gets back if he wants to play more games. Because I got him a game for our anniversary that we haven't played yet. So I'm going to see if he wants to play it. Because I'm still like in board game mode. Okay, so we're giving Starfall a shot. It's a game I got Mike for our anniversary. We have not tried to play it yet. So time to figure this out. See if it's any fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the end result. After all that running around like crazy, I mean, he is out. I walked past him to go check on Foster, who was passed out in the crate. I've been standing right here. He has not flinched one bit. 
He is just out. Oh, there it is, finally. I stepped close enough to your head. Oh, you duckered, finally? Finally? Crazy boy, crazy boy. So it is Sunday evening. I've been editing and watching Fuller House for most of the day. And now I'm going to make butternut squash and poblano in frioladas. I had to pause there and remember how to say that. In frioladas. Here it is straight out of the oven. It's gonna look really pretty once we put everything on top. But it smells amazing. So here is the finished product. It looks awesome. So I already added the avocado to mine. I said it adds salsa too, but I'm gonna try tasting it first to see if I think it needs salsa. Are you excited? <laughs> Meh. Meh. Liar. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Monday of the new week, and it is fallout. It is currently 63 degrees. 63. And I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> said I needed some pumpkin spice, considering it is 63 degrees outside this morning. I think the high is 76. I'm so excited, finally, to get some cooler weather. Finally. Well, we're on full puppy energy at the moment. I've got all of the energies. Whose Yelp was that? Was that your Yelp bean? Yes, that was, Yelp. That was a bean Yelp. You got goober all over you. Yeah, Colby, Colby might be a little bit insane right now. Ash is gonna get really pissed. Everybody's pissed. Colby, you are way too much energy right now. I don't know if you're comfortable, Colby. I can't tell. Seems like you might be comfortable. What about you, Foster? You're enjoying the new blanket that I bought us? And you immediately went straight for it? Yeah. Yeah. I got this blanket today and put it on the sofa and within two minutes Foster was sitting on top of it and burrowing under it. <laughs> so good morning guys, it is Thursday. So it's been kind of a strange week for work so I haven't really filmed much uh, since the weekend I don't think. But Friday, we didn't have internet in our office, our internet went down. And so I ended up working from home Friday afternoon. And then Monday I came into work and our internet still wasn't up. But thankfully we had enough projects to do that didn't require the internet that we were good for the day. However, Tuesday my boss texted me and was just like, stay home, work from home because we still won't have internet. And we had a bunch of stuff we needed to do online. And then yesterday we had a work event out side of the office so I had to be up at 4 a.m. well 4 30 a.m. and we got to the event at 6 a.m. and we were there until like 3 p.m. so it's been a weird work week so whoa boy has it been a week and especially today uh, as you can tell by the glowing eyes behind me it is actually fully dark it is about 9 15 maybe 9 30 now and I just got home from work so uh, I am raking in some sweet sweet overtime pay this week because um, I think I've mentioned this before, maybe even in this vlog. I don't remember because it's like a two week long vlog at this point. My work was supposed to be throwing this like big gala tomorrow. And because of Hurricane Harvey, we ended up canceling the gala and we're just doing this like, kind of a replacement event. So if we were doing the actual full gala, I would have been working way more this week than I actually ended up doing. Um, I probably would not have had much chance to vlog at all this week if we were actually doing the full event. However, we're doing a smaller event um, that's taking the place of that, and that's happening tomorrow. So because of that, my coworker and I, we have just been putting in crazy hours this week, and then on top of everything that we're doing for our own event, we had to attend a different event on Wednesday, which is why I had the crazy like 6 a.m. wake-up call that day. So it's just been a lot this week, and she and I had just both stayed till work till 9 p.m. tonight. I did think I was originally gonna have to work, go to work tomorrow and I'm pretty sure that because we did all that tonight that we don't have to do anything tomorrow. So I think we are in good position. If so, we'll just do it from home um, and just talk to each other on the phone. So I think we're okay. It's kind of a good thing that I ended up saving all the footage from last week to put in this vlog because yeah, I haven't done much this week aside from work and come home and 
somehow I ended up deciding to do three vlogs in the week that I was working this much. So it's been a lot, uh, but I'm home now. Gonna finally eat some dinner and relax with Mike and the pups. But I did want to mention definitely having Halloween Horror Nights withdrawals tonight because I chatted with both my alien and my favorite from Vamp 55 today because basically when any of these vlogs come out where they're featuring one of the actors that I'm friends with, I send them the link uh, to make sure they get to watch it. And so I messaged my vamp and sent it to him and he'd actually already watched it but was like super grateful that I had all that great footage of him. My alien and I have basically been talking every single Friday. So sent him the video, chatted with him some, and now I have really bad Horror Nights withdrawals and wish I could go back one more time. <sighs> but alas, it's not in the cards. On that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this week's vlog because I know I've got a ton of footage from last week and I just need to relax some. So I will see you guys again next week for another fun week of vlogs. And uh, hope everyone's doing great out there. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.